Trade and Development Agency held its fourth U.S.-India Aviation Summit in October 2013 in Washington, D.C. Its goal? To promote U.S. technical solutions to support the rapid growth of India's aviation sector. We have the U.S.-India Aviation Summit every two years for a couple reasons. We use it to recap all the project work that we've done together in the previous two years, and really it's to build further, to do the programming, the planning, the thinking forward of the cooperation areas that are going to make the most sense. So each one really builds on the previous one and the work, the cooperation work that we have ongoing. The summit was held in cooperation with the U.S.-India Aviation Cooperation Program, or ACP, and the government of India. It featured participation by high-level aviation officials from the U.S. and India's public and private sectors. By using this forum to discuss ways to turn these challenges into opportunities, we will strengthen cooperation between India's aviation leaders and U.S. providers of technology and services. And we will continue to ensure that the rapid growth in aviation benefits both of our countries. Senior representatives from agencies like the Federal Aviation Administration and the Department of Transportation were also present to not only provide key insights, but to also reaffirm U.S. support for the further development of India's aviation sector. And through summits like this, we'll continue to work with our partners like India to make sure that people are safe every time they board a plane, no matter where in the world. The summit covered many elements including air traffic control capacity, aviation security, and general aviation in India. But perhaps the most important part of the summit was to strengthen partnerships between the U.S. and India's public and private sectors that were originally forged by USTDA's U.S.-India Aviation Cooperation Program. The Aviation Cooperation Program, what we popularly call it uh, as uh, ACP, uh, started by USTDA, has done a marvelous work. It has uh, brought uh, cooperation at various levels, uh, particularly between our uh, field functionaries. Uh, and uh, through these interactions, the Indian civil aviation has been fitted a lot. The summit has been very useful for the ACP and its member companies. And we already see the Indian government wanting to engage with us in newer areas which were not identified earlier. We also found the ACP companies expressed an interest in joining the ACP. We think the summit has helped the ACP in getting new areas for working cooperatively on and also getting new members to strengthen the body. Following the summit, U.S. companies in attendance had the opportunity to meet with key India project stakeholders from the public and private sectors. Through these meetings, participants were able to learn more about upcoming development projects and provide an overview of the services they offer. Uh, aviation we regard in India as a very, very important subject. And my experience of uh, USTD at this time in Washington has been superb. Uh, the content of the presentations, the interest and the depth of uh, insight that uh, we have received, as well as all the policy makers, whether it was the Secretary of Transportation or uh, the Chief of FAA or the TSA, uh, and not to mention the Chief of uh, the USTDA, uh, Ms. Zach, they have, uh, they have actually gone out of their way to, uh, to feel us at home and feel us comfortable. The 2013 U.S.-India Aviation Summit built on the results of previous conferences with the goal of assisting the government of India in identifying advanced U.S. technology that will support the development of India's aviation infrastructure. I'm Steve Lewis reporting, U.S. Trade and Development Agency Public Affairs.